As a cause and consequence of aging and immunosenescence, mitochondria gradually lose their physiological potential and also become more susceptible to genetic mutations and aberrations, thereby contributing to degenerative oncological and autoimmune disorders. Biological immunotherapy or just immunotherapy is the use of medicine that helps the body, body's immune system to fight cancer by identifying, targeting and destroying cancer cells. This includes using monoclonal antibody, interferons, interleukin-2, several types of colony stimulating factors, growth factors, active specific immunotherapy with vaccines, thymic or thymus therapy, GC protein derived macrophage activating factor, GCMF, and leukocytic dialysates transfer factors. Immunotherapy targets both the active and passive components of the immune system. Active immunotherapy stimulates the host's own cellular or and humoral immunity, while passive immunotherapy involves the administration of biologically active agents with innate anti-tumor properties, such as antibodies that are reactive with growth factor receptors. Immunotherapy can be used as treatment for cancer or rheumatism or autoimmune disorders. In some cases, immunotherapeutic agents, such as antibodies, can exert anti-tumor effects via both active and passive mechanisms. Special attention we dedicate to the biological immunotherapy with various types of cell therapy. As a cause and consequence of aging and immunosenescence, mitochondria gradually lose their physiological potential and also become more susceptible to genetic mutations and aberrations, thereby contributing to degenerative oncological and autoimmune disorders. Mitochondria-derived peptides are newly discovered entities in retrograde signaling from mitochondria. These molecules are essential components of mitochondria as they activate signaling pathways and modulate nuclear gene expression. Previous studies have shown exponential advances in mitochondrial extraction and purification technology. Thanks to advances in molecular biology, it has become possible to isolate mitochondrial peptides from xenogenic tissue, which contain similar structures to humans and recognize the same receptors. The mite organelles combine 10 kilodeltan nanoparticles with 45 to 65 kilodeltan peptides, which are natural and free from aggressive agents that can cause any incompatibility. They are then inserted into nanoparticles with the advantage of increasing their uptake and bioavailability in the transport of uh, repairable signaling factors. The advantage of cell therapy with xenogenic mitochondrial peptides lies in the ease of obtaining tissues from the various organs and ability to choose a group of peptides that suit the therapeutic purpose. In the case of immune activation, mitochondrial peptides, the MOs, the mite organelles, can be derived from the thymus, spleen, bone marrow, mesenchyme, liver, or even lymphocytes. The part three of the book is dedicated to paradigms and modalities of immune restoration in bioregenerative medicine. In this part, we discuss in details the autologous active specific immunotherapy, the ASI. Autologous specific immunotherapy is based on the idiotypic network theory, which holds that an immune response leads to the production of two kinds of antibodies, namely antigen-specific antibodies, autoantibodies, and anti-idiotypic antibodies, which interact with each other to regulate the humoral immune responses. 
The role of the autologous immunomodulating therapy is to induce the production of anti-idiotypic antibodies and modulate regulatory T cells followed by neutralizing and inhibiting the secretion of autoantibodies and resulting in a balanced immune modulating network. Anti-idiotypic antibodies are widely used in autoimmune disease, allergic disorders, and cancer treatment. AASI therapy is an autologous in immunomodulating therapy that attempts to regulate the immune system by re-educating the host defense mechanisms and protecting the body. The main advantage of the ASI is its ability to specifically target complementary autoantibodies, thereby effectively suppressing a specific immune response. Furthermore, unlike non-specific active immunotherapy, ASI specifically targets the problematic tissue while preserving the surrounding normal tissue from non-specific toxicities. The unique properties of this network have enabled therapeutic treatments for many diseases, particularly cancer and autoimmune disorders. It is most effective in treating conditions related to immune imbalance, such as allergic disorders, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, psoriasis, uh, SLE, systemic lupus erythematous, and uh, type 1 diabetes. In addition, ASI can also be used to treat cancer of liver, stomach, pancreas, breast, prostate, intestine, lymphatic glands, and melanoblastomas. Apart from that, the application of ASI in the treatment of management of other cancers have been well documented as well, including but not limited to malignancies such as the colon cancer, melanoma, or renal cell carcinoma.